Yeah, no, I get what you're saying, but the the chains themselves are not as good as people think. I mean, you get 151 is a max you can do, and and what actually people are gonna do is high, which 141. That is. It, in a game where one hit leads to 500, 600 damage, getting one chainsaw, it, yeah, it's easy to get, yeah, it has a lot of active frames, but 141 is nothing. 141 is shitty damage. That's why you, you'll never see me do the entire chain. And, and, and on top of that, everything after the second hit is unsafe, so you could argue, you know, oh, she can just do chip, and, you know, forever endlessly and build speeder and blah 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 and it's true but if she goes all the way up to the medium punch it's gonna be unsafe uh, so no one should be doing that anyway if you're getting pressured by someone who's doing that then punish them <laughs> anything up more than the medium so, so so your options like you could use meter and Okay, here are your options off a standing light punch in Destruction, right? You can do the whole chain. Let's see, you 141, which is terrible. Or the, uh, the low, which is a little bit better. Uh, still bad in, in cross tech in terms. Um, and then you can think about spinning bar, right? So you can do this. And, uh, that's... 225, right? Not much. Uh, what else can we get? Uh, so, yeah, you can get a little bit more off that, to be fair. Anyways, you can get around 250 um, with that. So again, one bar for 250 damage, not good at all. Uh, oh, and arguably you can tag, right? And depending on who your character is, you can get decent damage. 320 for a bar, not terrible, right? But also not safe. Um, if you were to try to do this and they are blocking, that's not a safe tag in, tag in point. So... It's definitely not something you can rely on. So what is the best option? I think is never go past the light punch. Even if you know it's gonna hit. All right. So here's what you can do off a of, off of, uh, light punch. Right, 160. So whether or not it hits or not, you're gonna do 160 if it hits. And if it doesn't hit, it's safe. It's hard to delay it there. So that's, well, it's fairly safe, right? Like, uh, unless someone has a, a pretty quick punish at this range, then it's considered safe. Um, so it's kind of a win-win. If they block, you get the light chainsaw damage or chip, the meter, and meter off the, uh, I forget what this is called, hard reset, I believe. Uh, so it's kind of a win-win. And so if it hits them, you do the most damage you can do, the most meterless damage you can do without spending bar off that light punch. And alternatively, it's it'll build meter and do a little bit of chip. And there's actually a little trick. If you delay it, so you can, if it hits, It'll chain, right? But you can actually delay the flight, which is which will kind of frame trap them. Uh, so even if the, the light punch blocks, then you might get the the raw hard reset, which is still you know a, puts you in a good position. Not only that, but you know puts you on a, a this is good ambiguous jumping range. I mean, it's perfect. Who knows where this is gonna hit, you know? Um, so as far as spending bar, uh, you could do the, you know, end the chain with the EX. 
and then have like whatever your best combo is, you'll get maybe 350 tops. Like, probably actually, let's say 300. Right? So that's not a good option. There's no way to end this chain with an EX. This is going to give you a decent amount of damage. Your best options are the tag in, which is pretty dependent on who you have. I mean, this is. That's a heavy punch into heavy uh, grab. So that's a pretty good ender, right? And that's 320. So that's what you can do. Or, alternatively, you can... So that's spending bar going all the way up the chain. But you can also spend bar doing what I think is the best way to do this, which is, of course, the hard reset. So if this hits, you have... This is um, a high tag or a DP tag, whatever you want to call it. But it gives you more opportunity to do even more damage. If I wasn't terrible. And I'm still being terrible. Hold on. Yeah, you're right. You can do... You can do... Um, uh, the EX clock settings and get a little bit of follow-up, but um, even that is not is not going to do more damage than you're going to get 320 max, and you I think you can actually get more damage off the EX hard reset. But regardless, I'm going to show you that the, those methods are let's say the max damage you can get from going through a full chain into some kind of EX move. It's 300, right? Let's say 300, and that's being, uh, you know, because because really your only options are the EX um, clock setting, which is a, which leaves you with a pretty difficult um, uh, it's crouching heavy punch after that into I think it's thruster left, and that's not the easiest chain. That crouching hard punch is tricky. And then the other one, which is the hard EX Hard Reset, is also a tricky link. Uh, well, not a tricky link, but... Right. You have to CA... The best damage you can get off that is a Heavy Punch CADC. Uh, which, you know, is CADC, so it's not going to be easy for everyone. But that's the, that's the finisher. But anyways, that'll leave you with roughly, you know, 300 damage, 325 damage max off, off of one bar. And, I should mention that if you do, if you do the entire chain, um, and, it's, and they block it, that's not safe. That's not safe on block, not even close. That's a full punish, even though it's EX. So it's like, okay, I can spin the bar, go all the way up the chain, do an EX, spin the bar and leave myself in a vulnerable situation so at that point like if they block uh, I'm punished and I lost a bar if they don't block I do potentially 320 damage if I get a great link um, or a difficult link right so again not great option the best option still lies in never going up the chain and just doing hard uh, doing a hard reset off the standing jab, whether it hits or blocks. Uh, so... Shit. So why this does more damage is you get the jumping. Which, I've never seen that happen before. Uh, I didn't even do the, the heavy punch one. But anyways, it's somewhere around, um... Uh, 400 damage. Get it right. I apologize. It always feels a little bit weirder when I'm recording. Four or five, right? And that's actually not the best I can do. If if I time it uh, a little bit later, I can get two heavy punches, which gives me I think three, 425. So. So that is one bar, 425 damage, which is nothing to 
uh, you know, it's not bad. Uh, it's not amazing, but it's definitely decent. And so if that happens if they if they if they don't block, and it gives me two opportunities for them to stop their block, right? Because there's they could block this. And then I could follow up with this, which is a frame trap. So it's two opportunities to open them up. And even if I never don't open them up, um, it's still safe, or relatively safe. So really you have nothing to lose and the most to gain from doing hard reset off the, the standing light punch. That's why I say fuck the chain, it's not worth it. People who complain about the chain don't realize that it's not doing any damage. 141 damage. Yeah. Think about that next time you're playing an Alyssa and you're like, these fucking chainsaws are so OP. They do nothing. Yeah. Right, exactly. Right. That's my point, Edwin. It, it agreed. Those EXs. You can do a lot more after, but it's not going to give you 425 damage, which you're going to get from not going into the chain. And this feels great meter too. They block it. <clears throat> I wish you could show meter build, but that I mean it's, and you can also tag on that too. Oh, I'm sorry. Even if they block, I mean you can tag, and it it gives you a chance to kind of. Uh, Gives you kind of a free setup. Alright, there's the cross up. Well, I could, you know, just walk up throw when block stuns over. So, it's a good place to tag, um, whether it hit or not. I mean, sometimes I'll tag, even if I know they're gonna block it, just to get Alyssa out. It's a safe tag out, too. Yeah, that. Yeah, the no, I got the 151 from going down. If you go down, it does a little bit more damage. Uh, I don't think that's true. I don't think you can. Uh, I don't think that's uh, enough time for a safe tag. I mean, even if it is, that's great. Yeah, it's definitely not safe for a pack. And even if it was, you know, yeah, sure, use it in that situation. But if they block it, know that you're going to get punished. It doesn't matter how you end the chain. It's un anything after the medium punch is unsafe. <laughs> 